the referee sets things in motion. We are up and underway, and the ball is already back with Killick, and he's plays the long ball forward. Warren already gets a taste of it, wins it in the air. McAllister, who's uh, facing the wrong way to goal, he's going to have to switch play. Does a good ball across to Danny Rose, who's come to this near side. He's got Hughes overlapping. Rose plays the ball over the top, and he's looking for there for Miller, who ventured forward. It's Buchanan with a snapshot, but it's only just wide but it's the home side of game possession and they're coming forward and now it's with Salmon in this position. It's Will Salmon crosses, it's a good ball. It's headed high and over the bar by Brown. And it's going to be Felino Jardine to take a right-footed outswinging corner. Back to you, Tim. Thank you, Phil. Right footer then, this is going to be. County sending all the big men forward. McAllister's in there, of course. Yakubu and Warren, they've come up. Warren on the edge of the area, he makes a run to the back post there, it's going to be headed by McAllister and he had a free header there, it's glanced forward, Warren gets uh, to it but uh, the ball is played through and Potter has the race to his line and he smothers the ball but it's still not danger and the ball is not cleared yet. In the shape of Mills and the ball swung wide right for Samuels, good take by Samuels, he takes on Andrew Hughes on the near touchline, goes inside Hughes, chance for a cross. Gets it over, Yakubu gets a foot, it comes out, it's a great goal, a volley by Richard Davis, beats Danny Potter at his left hand side and Telford take the lead with 16 minutes gone and that all stemmed from the right wing where Samuels got inside Andrew Hughes. Warren and Elliot Buchanan on the edge of the area preparing to make their runs, in comes the throw. It's high, it's won by Bukubu, it's a chance, and it's headed over by Danny Rose. And Telford are breaking through. There's a good chance here on the far side of the area. Andrew Hughes gets back, but he can only put it into the path of the Telford midfielder, who bashes the floor in frustration. The Salmon tries a long throw into the area. It's knocked on by Brown. It bounces off the back of the Telford player, almost into the path of Brown, but Potter picks it up. And Newport living dangerously and Danny Potter has dropped the ball, handled it outside his area and the goalkeeper being called towards the referee and this could be a red card to him. It's a yellow card and Danny Potter's very fortunate. Newton's left footer, Samuels as well, Newton left footed, good save by Potter, he made amends there with a good save, right handed away to his right and Yakubu heads clear for Newport. And again, Newport are going to be under immense pressure with 30 minutes gone, the free kick. Comes in, swung in the direction of Potter. It goes over Potter, fortunately past the post, but I'm not sure Danny Potter knew where that was. In years gone past, we've uh, not had a goalkeeper on the bench or would have struggled when the, uh, the second keeper came on. We've got every, Thompson, every uh, confidence in Glyn Thompson if he does come on now to replace Danny Potter, as looks likely. But, uh, we won't be weakened in any way by that move, Tim. It'll be very interesting to see what happens here. Will he continue? It looks as though he is going to continue. But uh, And Jardim is coming off for County. Jardim is coming off, and I think it's Foley who's actually going to come on. Sam Foley is coming on for Felino Jardim, and that probably, I would say, suggests Phil Morgan is probably a wise move. Potter limping off straight away with Tony Gilbert in the direction of the changing rooms. We've got five minutes to half time, and Danny Potter apparently being booed by the home support. I'm not quite sure why, other than the fact that they think he probably should have been sent off for that handball. <coughs> Elliot Buchanan has attached himself to the end of the wall. It's Danny Rose, left footed, drives it. It's a great chance to go! What a goal by Danny Rose! Straight into the top corner is Newport's first chance, but that was an absolute scream at him. Right in the top corner, past the goalkeeper's right hand, the Newport fans go mad, and that was an absolute classic. Tim. Well, to be honest with you, Phil, no goalkeeper in the land, I know I've used this expression before, would have seen or saved that. And as soon as Thompson comes in, County get their equaliser. I didn't contribute, obviously, but within seconds of Thompson being goal, County 
have equalised in the shape of Danny Rose, who's got four now for the season. Ball is with McAllister. And now County have got a hold firm in this two and a half minutes of stoppage time. It's uh, Sean Newton who's going to take this free kick. Left footed, he chips it into the area. A header there. It was a free header there. It's all right. No, I don't want it. It's all right. And there's the half time whistle. And Newport get through the half time, one goal apiece with AFC Telford. Thompson will clear, right footed. He does so looking for McAllister. McAllister wins the flick on. Looking at the chance for Rose. The header back by the defender, almost intercepted by Rose. Tom Miller then with the throw in. County sending once again the big men forward. Warren is in there. Yakubo is in there. Forward it goes. And it's Yakubo who gets there first, but he heads it wide. Yakubo goes for it, wins it well in the air to Buchanan. Buchanan does well, wins it to McAllister. Now it's to Foley going forward. Foley tries a shot from Foley. 42 yards. Foley plays a good ball there to Miller. But Miller can't win it. And that's going to be a free kick for a foul. And it will be a yellow card. Haven't had the gate yet, but uh, Foley turns well. There, takes the ball to the byline, crosses beautifully inside, but it's not cleared fully. County appeal for handball, but he wasn't used, though. Loses his footing there, and County are back pedaling again, although they've got players behind the ball. And it's the home side venturing forward, and it's now with Salmon on the far side. He crosses, it's an absolute beauty. It's a header just wide by Brown. Newton takes a look, left footer, plays it for the runner, Brown, and uh, w Warren is beaten, and the referee is going to give the penalty. The player went down. The referee is calling Warren over. The referee is given the penalty. It's a yellow card for Warren. Newton versus Thompson, 56 minutes, and he scored. It's Telford 2, Newport County 1. Bill Morgan. Yeah, it did look a penalty to him, and he's put it away very comfortably. And you know, we've got back into the game once, so I'm not sure if he can do it again. And he's going to kick it right footed, getting the ball to Buchanan. McAllister wins it, it's as far as Foley. Foley shoots over the bar. Swing it wide left for left back Newton. He has Mills in support, Mills on the near touchline. Finds Newton overlapping, a good cross over the box. Cut out by Gary Warren, falls to Miller. Right back, Paul Rogers. It's going to be replaced by Scott Rogers. So, Newport's final substitution, Scott Rogers replacing Paul Rogers as Miller prepares to take it. Throws it long. Headed back by Warren. And a good chance. And it looks as if he might have crossed the line there for a second, but he was cleared off the line. Doty chips it over, it's looking for Scott, it just goes behind Scott Rogers, but it's not cleared yet, it's with Andrew Hughes. And it's the home side's turn to defend, it's uh, Danny Rose to the far side, it's, oh, it's uh, McAllister, now it's Scott Rogers, and now it's just about cleared by the home side. But is it going out? Yes, it is, it's a throw into Newport County. Looking for the head of Warren, Warren goes for it, but it's a judge to have fouled. Dan Preston, and it's a free kick to the home side. And here comes a booking. In fact, shows him the yellow card. It's uh, Will Salmon is going to be in no rush to take the free kick. Just inside the Newport County half. The whistle-happy referee is uh, going to show another card, I believe. And I think it's another card. This time it's to Doherty, is it? And uh, the referee is going to show another card to a county player. It's Doherty is going to show it too. And uh, the bookings are now starting to mount up in County as they slip towards defeat. I think that's four players booked this afternoon now. And these all count, especially later on you go. But there's also a yellow card as well for Ryan Valentine for the home side. So uh, I think that may very well be the first booking for the home side. There's 4-1 on bookings, but it's a free kick to the home side. It's taken by Sam and it's played forward. That's a free kick to Newport County. We've got virtually three minutes plus any stoppage time that are deemed necessary. And Scott Rogers now is going to be in trouble. And really, quite frankly, he was trying to get the ball, but I think he's probably going to be in real trouble here because the player went down and the referee is calling Scott Rogers over. And this game is now deteriorating. What's it going to be? It's red, I'm afraid. Scott Rogers is off.
and uh, the ball is forward. Warren does well, and two points. Rush to take it, just under four minutes of stoppage time left. Glenn Thompson will take this. Glenn Thompson, who lives in Telford, plays for County. He takes it, and there's another booking, and it's a red card for Doherty for a second yellow card for a second bookable offence. This is an absolute shambles. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. This afternoon we've been a disgrace, to him. Uh, we haven't performed well. We've had two red cards, we haven't competed, we've hardly had a shot at goal. The one thing Newport can take from this game is that fantastic free kick from Danny Rose. And to be honest, in the rest of our performance, that free kick has been out of place. Can he get something here? He takes it to the corner flag, invites and wins a free kick. And now County surely have one last chance. I make it time. Danny Rose, Yakubu's going forward. The goalkeeper, Glenn Thompson, is coming forward. Can make get one at the death? Danny Rose free kick. In it comes. It's headed out. Only as far as Hughes. Hughes though one against one, and it's going to be a throw into Newport County. It's taken by Danny Rose. The referee surely is going to blow his whistle. It's going to be defeat, and it's Miller with the long throw. In the crowd are whistling. I don't know why they're whistling because I can't see how County are going to get it though really. But uh, in comes the. Throw in, Yakubu heads it. Can they have one last bit of drama? No, they can't. Final whistle goes. County is slipped to defeat by two goals to one. But more importantly, they've had two players sent off. I leave you with a final scoreline of AFC Telford United 2, Newport County 1. A very, very goodbye to you all. One place to start then, and as a manager, I'm sure your frustration. But what happened with those two sending offs at the end? Um, I'd, I'd rather not talk about the, the sending offs and the refereeing. I, I, you know, we we, we obviously um, not a good day for us. Um, we, we've said all we've needed to say in the dressing room to the players, and we've got an opportunity to put it right on Monday. I don't want to say anything about the, the referee. Today. But you must be frustrated with your players. I know you two went down, but maybe needless red cards, really. Again, don't want to say a word about the referee. Talk to me about the game then. Uh, got back at 1 1, stunning free kick, almost got back into the game, but yeah. you seem to be second best for most of it. Yeah, no, I think the, f the first half was. Um, we, we were poor the first half, and I think that's what lost us the game. Um, you know, credit to Telford today. I mean, they uh, they did what they do very, very well, um, and we, we just gave ourselves a, a mountain to climb in the in the, uh, in the second half. Are you a manager that throws teacups around in the dressing room after a result like that, or have you just told the players exactly what you think? Well, I, th I think a, a, again, you know, it's one of those where you, you're five games in, and, and it's like um, I don't want to keep saying that, but it, it's it's perspective, and you know, you've got Fleetwood who. Uh, for example, who will be up there this season, a massive, massive club with massive resources. They'll be up there this season. They lost to Barrow. They got hammered by Barrow. You know, they, these turned York City over. You know, so it, it, it would be very, very stupid of me after five games to go in there and, and start screaming and shouting and uh, um, start reacting um, in a way that you know, it, it would just be, just be pointless. We, we know we know what we have. We know what we're going to do. Um, and we've had a bad day today. And every team has a bad day. Um, you know, and, and we, we've got enough characters in there to, to make sure we put it right for Monday. We, what we need to do is just not panic in this situation. There's no need to panic. Um, <coughs> and uh, you know, for us to panic would mean we, we'd start rushing people back and start doing silly things instead of staying the course and, and believing in what we're doing. We all do believe in what we're doing, and, and uh, one thing I do know is that we're going to be all right. He'll take the dog for a long walk tonight. Frank, get he this might take. He might. He might get the pots and pans thrown at him. Do on the dog. <laughs> yeah.